This is a drawing of my OC in utter despair because who has happy OCs? Okay, listen, yes, this is very much inspired by Dan Howell's video about talking to himself because I've been nostalgia re-watching all of his videos and now mirroring my personality to his. Okay, that's kind of a joke. <laughs> but here's the thing, I do really talk to myself, like, a lot, like, all the time. I'm constantly having conversations in my head and then out loud, and sometimes I'll sign them. Yeah, sign as in ASL. I will literally sign out conversations to myself, and if I knew any other languages, I would probably talk to myself myself in that language too, which, you know what, honestly, might make the conversations more dynamic and interesting, who knows. Anyway, so I've been caught quite a few times talking to myself. I used to go on walks every day and naturally, because that's the best time to do absolutely nothing but either think or dissociate, I would start conversing with myself. I also have a habit of looking down at the ground when I walk, which is not a good habit, especially when you're wearing earbuds, not paying attention, and you almost get hit by a UPS truck. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, don't do that. Anyway, so naturally I'd be walking along, literally whispering and mumbling to myself, when at the last minute I'd look up and see a person coming my way, just in time to see me mumbling and making faces to my imaginary conversationalist partner. You know, you'd think with like the earbuds I'd be able to play, as, play it off as if I were on the phone, but no, because I was literally whispering. No one would be able to hear me because I was mumbling, so it looked pretty weird. Sometimes I even talk with my hands, not like ASL, but like gesturing and stuff. I'm alone, mumbling and talking with my hands as if I'm engrossed in this enthralling conversation with the wind. I already am kind of the neighborhood troubled recluse on the brink of insanity, which, yes, a couple years ago, some new people moved in down the street, and one of my neighbors told them that I was troubled. <laughs> And the weirdest part is I don't like talk to that person and they told some new people I was troubled like oh my gosh Sure, maybe I am but let them find out <laughs> Let them find out on their own. I'd say a very memorable moment is when someone called me out for it I don't remember how or why this conversation started, but this woman literally asked me She was like, are you alone a lot? And I was like, yeah I was homeschooled from grade 6 to 8, I'm shy, I tend to isolate myself, and I, I used to be really weird. Like, I'm, I'm still kind of weird, but I used to be really weird. And so making friends is not like the easiest thing in the world. Also, a peer isn't really that solid. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really have a ton of friends or many people to really talk to, except for my therapist. Anyway, this woman was like, yeah, I think people who talk to themselves a lot were pretty lonely growing up. I was like, Excuse me, yeah, like, no, yeah, you're right, but why call me out? Let me live in blissful ignorance. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm still alone a lot to this very day. I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring, but yeah, that's what that is. Anyway, I'm still alone a lot to this very day, and I'm still in therapy, so I guess I'm the winner here. <laughs> anyway, she, by the way, she wasn't being rude or anything. It was just a, a conversation we had, and it's kind of funny how transparent things can be, I guess. Like, I like to think that I hide my struggles pretty well, um, I like to think that on the outside I appear normal, but clearly that's just not true at all. <laughs> oh man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tell me about your talking to yourself incidents so I don't feel as bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all later.